So I'm going to uh, show you what I've done with the conversion on my Sato uh, 180. I converted it to uh, electronic ignition so I'm just going to um, go over the components. Um, this is the twist lock cap that goes on the spark plug. It's a little bit sticky. You'll see that the spark plug there is a uh, quarter 32 thread uh, plug and it just replaces the normal uh, glow plug and uh, then this uh, this uh, spark plug top goes in there and clips on it comes back on a shielded cable into the uh, ignition module that's the CDI RXL uh, ignition module that runs on uh, anywhere from 4.8 to 6 volts. There's um, one feed here that you can hook up to a tachometer if you want to uh, check it. I just use a normal uh, tack on the prop. This is what goes to the lead to the hall sensor pickup. I've just got it, uh, I'll just go around here. I've got it uh, zip locked on. There, it's uh, a shielded uh, thing, a cable. There's normal Futaba uh, clips where it comes together and then it comes down. You can see on the front this bracket here. I made this bracket up and it holds the uh, hall sensor right there. And then you can see right in here that's a magnetic or that's a magnet and that's what triggers the uh, firing um, of the plug and uh, even though a four stroke fires on every other um, uh, uh, revolution when you convert to ignition uh, the plug fires on every revolution so it fires on the exhaust uh, stroke as well and actually it keeps the spark plug nice and clean so it continues to fire um, and then there's this feed here that plugs into the battery. Uh, normally I plug that into a JR heavy duty charging switch but I've got it set up on my test stand here uh, just to do a demonstration and I'm going to wrap it in cloth to keep it free from vibration and uh, this is, I'm just using a small testing, uh, just an old battery pack that I have around the shop for uh, doing tests and stuff like that. It's not one I fly with, it's just 600 milliamps. You want to make sure you got a good charge if you want to get a good spark so it's got a fresh charge. And uh, so those are the components. I'm just going to wrap everything up in cloth to keep the vibrations down and then fire it up and show you how it works. The normal method that I use for um, making sure I got a good prime on my Sados, they like to be wet, is I plug the exhaust. This is a smoke exhaust, uh, smoke muffler, so I've got to plug both outlets but and also where the smoke goes in. And I usually give three, two, three compression strokes and then take my hand off of the exhaust, do the same thing again, and I do this one two, three, one, two, three, and I've got the uh, throttle open full, three, one, two, three, and then I just give it a couple free flips like that, just to make sure there's fuel around, then I go back to low throttle, my engine test stand here is works really good. So, with any luck, I'll plug in the ignition, get it up to compression.
see how low it'll idle down. That was idling at uh, 1,050, so that's just uh, a simple explanation about how the uh, Sato works with the ignition. The interesting thing is, if they stop like that, you just take them up to the compression stroke again. Here's 1100, steady. And that's ignition. That's just what uh, a Sato, a big four stroke on ignition. I've got a few of them on uh, 150s, a couple 180s, and uh, a couple of 10s. So that's how they work. Shut the switch off, and uh, that's basically um, how they work. Anybody that does a conversion, you'll be happy with it.